It was just for fun. And it ultimately ended up costing a, a, a innocent man uh, uh, his life. So we go to the mall. Right. The plan is just to go to Foot Locker, grab some hats and some starter jackets and, and, and run out. So the first time we went, they had a, a, a young black dude look like he run fast. <laughs> uh, so we didn't do it. I got two partners right now today, nigga named Tawan Harris and Denarcus Miles. Both of them niggas older than me. So the first crew we went to go do it with, we were like, nah, man, fuck that. I said, man, let's go get Denarcus. So I went to go get Denarcus just to drive. And Tawan was over there getting his hair cut. Them niggas supposed to call the murder case. He was cutting Tawan her out. The nigga said, nah, man, come back and get me. Well, I was too anxious. I ain't go back and get the Narcos. I went and got torn, big torn, and little torn. Went to the mall, grabbed the jackets, grabbed the hats, ran out. And in the process of us running out, uh, my victim, which was a little small white guy by the name of Michael Levy, uh, he had just got married three days prior to that. He saw what was happening because he was working on his car in the parking lot. And so he tried to stop us. He ran and dove on top of the car. He started hitting the windshield or uh, whatever wrench he had in his hand. And so I'm in the back seat saying, uh, man, go, nigga, drive. My partner in the front seat, he can't put the car in gear. You know, back then, them motherfuckers go up and down. Yeah. And, and, and you can have the car and drive and cut it off and take the keys out. Mm. And so that's what he did. He reached inside the car uh, and cut the car off and took the keys. And so... uh. And how old were you at this time? Yeah, I was 14. I had just turned 14. So I was 14. We was all 14, 15, 16, 17. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we get out the car, I was sitting on the gun. So I get a gun to my partner. So I'm in mean, man, shoot that motherfucker. Uh, and he shoot him. Uh, he wasn't trying to kill him. It, it just did. Uh, the gun that we had was a was a, was a 38. Well, actually, it was a 357 snub nose uh, with blue tip hollow points in it. So when he shot the gun, it went up mm -hmm. and, and hit him one time in the chest. And and uh, b because of the bullets, uh, they thought we shot him in the back. You know, because them motherfuckers... Them yeah, niggas, expand as soon as on, yeah, on impact. So, yeah, so they, they thought we shot him in the back. Uh, he, he died in the parking lot. So Tony Dorsett had just opened a club up. Uh, he was still playing for the Cow. I think he had just retired for the Cowboys or was still playing. He had just opened a club up right where, where, where the incident occurred. So it, it made headline news, a front page paper. Uh, it, it was real big because we were four black children who had killed killed the white man. And in 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 a week within that same week, uh, three skinheads had had killed this black man that that was sitting on the back of his car. So both of them were very high profile cases, which of course. Uh, in the media, the white kids were being treated lenient, and, and we was getting more time. Uh, but I got less time than anybody. But my mother was financially uh, able to go out and, and get some of the best lawyer representation in the city, which was a guy by the name of Carl Mallory and, and, and Louis Stearns. Uh, and, and Carl Mallory's dead now. Uh, may God rest his soul. And, 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 and Mr. Stearns ended up becoming Judge Louis Stearns. So he just retired from a judge. So I had two of the best lawyers. Uh, in, in the city, uh, my co-defendants, how many mom and them couldn't afford that shit? Mm -hmm. uh, one of my co-defendants uh, got out on bond, and uh, his mother moved him to, uh, I think, Oklahoma or something, and he ended up dying, uh, running from the police in a high-speed chase. The, the, my oldest co-defendant got 99 years, went back on appeal, and was released on a 25-year sentence. The 16-year-old shooter got 75 years. He's still incarcerated right now to this day. Our crime happened September 18, 1991. So I'm one of the first children. Oh, my, I just got chills. Uh, I'm one of the first Ooh. children uh, in Fort Worth, Texas, to be tried and adjudicated for the crime of murder in the early 90s. In the state of Texas, I'm one of the first children who follow in a group of children uh, who was tried, adjudicated, and sentenced for the crime of capital murder and murder who was sentenced under Texas juvenile law. It's called Texas Juvenile Determined Sentencing Law, where a kid can be sentenced up to 40 years. So I got a 12-year sentence uh, for capital murder. So, uh, 